Sanjay Singh, uh, Rajya Sabha member, AAP leader. What's your reaction about the arrest of Sanjay Singh? I think it's very sad. Sanjay Singh has been very vocal in the parliament against many acts of the government of India which he has opposed. He has been in the eye of the government for a long time because he is a fierce speaker, speaks from his heart, speaks on facts. And I think today his arrest by ED is actually to show their power before election comes again. I totally oppose such actions. I think it's wrong to arrest a legislator who is absolutely clean and is put behind bars because they say, according to what I heard, that he didn't answer certain questions. You don't arrest a person for not answering questions. According if you've got BJP. something against him, take him to the court. According and to the BJP, he is the main uh, middleman of the liquor scam. How can he be a main man of liquor scam? We will see now. Let the reports come. Poor education minister is already in the jail. How long will this continue? It's a democratic country. Everyone has the rights. For God's sake, don't use such, those actions which tomorrow will inflict on you. You're not going to be in power every day. One day it's going to hit you. Think of that day. What about Aravinda Rayanas who's saying where was these guys when the panchayat elections held or talking about constitution today? You see, he has given a statement without understanding. No doubt, we did not take in panchayat election. I feel very sad about it. Looking at it, those people who decided that it should not be done, we did wrong. But we did take part in the DDC elections. He has, said, he has also mentioned that. But National Conference may not have taken part. What about other parties who took part? We are asking for our constitutional rights, which have been suspended in the state ever since the governors have taken over and the UT has been created. We are asking for our constitutional rights. Why should we mention just one party that did not take part in Panchayat elections? Others did take part in Panchayat elections. They are members of Panchayat today. So he should correct his facts first. And he should not think of only us. He should think of the state itself. Every man. We want election today. They themselves have decided that panchayat elections will take place, DDC elections will take place, municipal elections will take place. Suddenly, they turn turtles that we are not taking. When everybody is saying, even today now, DG, I think of BSF or one of the forces that is here, said there is complete peace. Well, he says there is complete peace. They held a G20 meeting here where they said there is complete peace in Kashmir. Prime Minister as well as the Home Minister all the time say there is complete change in Kashmir, it's peaceful, tourism has increased. Then where is the election being denied to people? Uh, elections held in Kargil. Uh, what's your opinion about that and how much you are confident that the National Conference will You see, this? let me tell you, I'm very grateful. At least the authorities took Ladakh into confidence. They held elections in Ladakh, they held elections in Kargil. And over 77.6% have taken part in using their franchise. I'm quite confident, inshallah, that in Kargil, we'll get majority. They try to even remove our symbol. Don't forget ours that are there. We're not interested in releasing our symbol of the plough. We had to fight in a single bench, we won there. We fought in this double bench, we won there. Then we went, they went to Supreme Court, we won in Supreme Court also. It just shows how much hatred is in them for this party. Except during past number of people, authors, journalists have wrote number of books about the politician that became a popular later. But I think Farooq Abdullah is not satisfied about the book Farooq of Kashmir. Written some you see, let me tell you. It is not my book. Many people have this impression that it is by 
that I have written this book. It is not my book. I have read 10 chapters and in these 10 chapters there are so many wrongs that are in this and I think the other part also will be the same. I think it has been masterminded by those people who are interested in tarnishing the image of Farooq Abdullah as they tried to tarnish the image of Sheikh Muhammad Abdullah, my father. I think it's an effort in that direction. After I have completed this book, I will call a press conference in which I will put all details of where the mistakes are and why this book has been published. Then will you take the action against the writers? Yes, we will take action. Once I have written this, I'm going to consult the lawyers and then take action against the, the, the writers about this book. Dr. Farukudullah, thank you very much for spending some time with us. Thank you.